everyone! Today I'll be drawing a photo inspired by the Oh Baby Boys in the House episode 3 of the post recording of when Lucifer's voice actor, Yamashita Kazuya-san, uh, when he was holding up the little sheep right here. Uh, it was a really nice picture and it looked super cute, so I decided that, hey, I want to redraw this. So I redrew it uh, as Lucifer's character instead of as Yamashita-san. But I chose the clothes based off the Oh Baby Human World outfits just to have that like, I guess it's not like a balance, but the cor correlation uh, between the fact that this is inspired from the actual human being. So that's where like the human world part comes in. Uh, so here, what I did previously was just the basic shapes for the sketch. Uh, and now I'm adding in some details such as the clothes, the fingers, and the little cute sheep! Um, I really like the Oh Baby Boys in the House series. It's really funny and interesting just to watch voice actors interact with each other, especially because right now, the current state of the world, everyone's in lockdown or isolated. It's very rare that we see these human interactions, so it's super fun to watch. I hope they're all safe though. Uh, so as you see here, I had a bit of trouble with the hair. I drew it once, but didn't really like the way it turned out and the volume of hair didn't seem right so I redrew that after the face and a little blush because I cannot draw that huge smile that made it look super nice so the blush was to like replicate that so before what just happened was I imported my photo into Autodesk sketchbook and I drew the final sketch here that we see that I'm tracing over for the line art uh, because they do have that distort tool there and it's easier for me to make some adjustments. So for the background, didn't really want to stick to the background that was in the photo so what I did was I used some colors from the boys in the house screenshot and here's just me adding the base colors as well as the eyes. Had to adjust those colors a bit. So now we can see the background colors again. So for example the the lower part was like the black couch and the colors near the top with the pinks, purples, and more reds are like the brick colors that we had and that actually turned out alright! So woohoo! Yay! I was able to make a decent looking background! Uh, so here's just me adding in some shadows as well as fixing his glasses because it looked a bit funny without the upper rim. Uh, so for the color of the hair, I orig I made it like a bluer tint just because it's in digital art or art in general, you don't really want to have an exact black color um, as, or black and white. It just gets really difficult to do shading on or highlights on. Uh, so here I added the design on his human world suit, like a little, like a blazer <laughs> that hangs off his shoulder. And to the little fluffy layer, it's so cute. <laughs> um, so right now, I actually used Color Dodge on one of my layers just to add some more uh, highlights and to make more warmer colors, I guess. And finishing off, we're adding some final detail, such as a necklace that I had in the sketch, but I'm adding on now just because it's like a black line, as we'll see right there. Um, and the last thing I added for the background, it says Lucifer Pion, uh, just because he had the bunny ears and I have to say Pion at the end of every sentence. 